Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So today I have the CoWatch smartwatch, and if you've never heard of it, it has Amazon Alexa built right in. Now I am heavily dependent on Amazon Echo for all my smart home things, and if this is something that you're interested in, I definitely suggest you guys check it out. So some of the key features are, it has a complete full circle round display, it has an AMOLED display, and there's no flat tire. The display itself is also 400 by 400, giving it a total of 286 PPI. And it has your normal sensors. It has a nine axis, gyroscope, a built-in accelerometer, digital compass, heart rate sensor, all the things that you'd normally find on a smartwatch. This watch is running on Android, but it will pair up with both iOS and Android devices. I'm using this today on an iPhone, so it will work on iPhone. And they just, in fact, released an update today. So anytime you pick one of these things up, always make sure you have the latest update. Now for pricing, this started out at $279 on the silver and $299 for the black, I do believe. But make sure you click the link down below. You can always get the most current up-to-date pricing that way, as well as check out some of the other details. So I'm letting this thing power up. It's going to take just a bit here and we'll connect and show some demos. But looking around the watch itself, it's made from stainless and ceramic. So it's made from some high quality materials. And the setup process is ready now. It comes with this QR code. Go ahead and click on that and then it's going to bring up all your information to where you can see how to set it up and just learn about it. Now if you don't want to read through that, you will find that there is an instruction booklet inside of your box as well. Moving along, we have our limited warranty info, so make sure you check that out and hang on to it, along with our charging base and you can see this strip here where you do have to have it orientated just right and it also comes with this micro USB with a flat cable which is nice. Also underneath this little piece of foam, make sure you guys don't miss this because I did the first time around, you have a little tool that is used for changing the size of your watch. And along with that, they also include a glass screen protector with this. That's a really cool option that they've added this in here and included it for free instead of trying to sell it separately and make more money. Moving along, I am going to pair this up and have everything set up so my device is communicating. Again, I'm doing this on an iPhone 7 Plus, so it is on iOS 10. And as I mentioned before, there's going to be an update as soon as you get it. And then yesterday, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday I set this up and then today they already had an update. So it's really nice to see that they are addressing bugs that are being found and keeping this software up to date. Moving along, I have my watch set up here and this is an always on display. So whenever you're ready to use it, you just double tap and that wakes up your watch and it does save some battery with that. And you can flip through here. It's kind of hard to see these because they're very thin lines on this white background, but there's all these quick access settings that you can select. And here I have pulled up the footsteps and you just swipe to send it away. And here's a demo using the Amazon Alexa feature. What day of the week is it? Today is Thursday, October 27th. Who won the World Series game? Last night, the Indians lost to the Cubs, 5-1. to one. In the 2016 World Series, the Indians are tied with the Cubs. So that gives you a little example of some basic things. But if you have your home really wrapped up in smart home tech, here is a couple examples of things you can do. Trigger video mode. Sending that to IFT. Trigger play Xbox One. Sending that to IFT. So I think you can see where someone heavily reliant on Amazon Alexa can really make use of this. Any screen you're on that you want to dismiss, you just swipe it away. You swipe down from the top if you have notifications, which I have none right now, and you swipe up from the bottom for settings. And I'll just click on one and here you can see the battery and just swipe to take it away. Now there also are all these little settings that I showed you quick access settings. And here I had the flashlight, which I expected to turn the flashlight on my phone on, but it turns the screen into a white light to see in the dark. And you can select any of these that you want. You can just slide through here, pick one that you want to select, and then you can set it. And if you tap and hold whenever you are not on one of the little quick settings, it allows you to change your watch face. And there's many different ones you can choose from, but you can only use the pre-selected ones that they offer. You can't upload any of your own. And here you can see, you can swipe through here. You can see these better with this black background. 
all these different ones. You can select any things you want on that screen and then slide through them for quick access at any time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the different watch faces here. Here you can see there's a toucan on this one and they have all different varieties. They have some for men, women, some very unisex ones that would match for anybody's outfits and they have ones that would appeal for both older and younger people. Like right here, they have this little dolphin that flips through the screen and just did many different choices that you can choose from. And they do have their SDK opening up soon, so developers will be able to take advantage of that and make some for you as well. One thing I will note is that this is a little bit thicker than some of the other smartwatches I've used, but being a lady, our watches tend to be thinner and more feminine than men's watches. So for the guys, you may never notice it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the co-watch. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.